Hey, what's up, my fellow prodigies? Prodigy here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm gonna teach you guys on how to commentate better so you can improve the quality of your videos while at the same time improve your talking skills. And for this video, I'll be joined by a YouTuber called Ultimate Ethan, and he'll be giving the second half of the tips I'll be going over in this video. Now, before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to go subscribe and turn on channel notifications because I do like to upload quality videos for you guys to enjoy. And also, go follow me on Twitter because I do like that tweet out daily. Also, comment down below how you prefer to have your commentary set up and what's the hardest thing for you to do when recording because I want to hear what you guys have to say and because I love responding to everyone's comments and here's the little comment spotlight to Gamer Nick for the nice comment that you left in my previous video so if you guys want to be able to get shown on that spotlight just leave a comment and you'll have a chance to be picked by me and guys if you guys can let's see if we get 40 likes in today's video because I would appreciate it and be sure you go see it to the end of the video because I got a small surprise for you all but without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now getting right into this video, the first step on commentating better is to have a good mic to record with. And when I say good, you do not want to be recording your voice with a potato mic or like with your Turtle Beach headset because that will lower the quality of your videos. And besides, nowadays, people are going to be expecting some good mic quality from you if you plan on getting more views on your videos. And yes, I used to record my headset for my older videos, but I would recommend you guys to do that. But instead, try to get a condenser microphone. Like for example, I'm recording my voice with that NW700 mic cause it sounds pretty good and if I had to recommend some microphones for you guys to get I would recommend getting something like the Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti or the Audio Technica AT2020 but the one mic that I plan on getting for an upgrade is most likely going to be the MXL770 because I listen to a lot of audio tests with the microphone and I just like how the mic sounds. For tip number two, you guys want to find your style in commentating, meaning that you need to figure out if you want to do live comms or you want to do cut comms like what I do where you record everything you say in parts, which you could cut some parts out if you mess up on a word or something like that. And going on about style, you need to find yourself how you're going to organize your commentaries as in if you're just going to hit the record button and just say whatever comes to your head and just improvise like that. Or you could try memorizing on what you plan on saying because I find it really unprofessional when I watch a video from another YouTuber and they're basically going off topic in their video like they get sidetracked and such. Now another way you can do your commentaries is by making scripts for your videos and if you can tell already from watching my videos, I type everything I say. Like seriously, I have multiple tech documents of each of my videos where I did a commentary because truth is, I can't really commentate without looking at something to read and it's okay to do that because I know a lot of YouTubers that actually type what they say and I would say suggest to most people to make scripts for their videos because one, you don't have to memorize anything and two, you can make sure that you don't leave anything out in the video and have all your thoughts like collected. And when I say go try and type out everything you say, don't try to go word for word or at least try not to sound like a robot because in some parts of my videos I may sound like a little bit like a robot but I try to make it sound more natural in a way. Tip number three, add background music to your videos. Like seriously, if you add background music to your videos, it can make your video feel more alive because if one day you finish recording and to you, you think you sound like you don't have as much energy in your video, adding positive upbeat music can make you sound different in a way. And I'm telling you guys the truth guys, music plays a huge role in videos because it can affect the tone of how the video is, making your video sound positive, negative, curious, etc. Or if you don't talk as much in your video, the audience will be able to listen to the background music and enjoy your video more. And if you have trouble finding music for your videos, I do have a video on my channel where I talk about the top 5 music sources you should go to for non-copyrighted music because I know a lot of people who end up using really common music in their videos that honestly doesn't make their videos like sound as unique in a way. So I do suggest using background music in your videos, just make sure you use instrumentals or use music without vocals, otherwise the audience may get distracted hearing two voices at once with the music. Now that was my half of the tips, now I'm going to hand it off to my friend Ethan. So what's up everyone, I am Ethan and now my channel is Ultimate Ethan. Now if you don't know who I am, I recommend you go check him out on my channel because I do do similar content to the Prodigy. And yeah, basically I do uh, commentaries like this and tutorials and also some other reaction videos as well sometimes. So yeah, this this video or this part of the video is actually my tips on, uh, on commentating and commentating better. So. The fourth tip for me, you would need to be clear, sounding and confident. So what I mean by this is that you can't just be quiet and self-conscious when you're when you're talking to, to your subscribers because no one's going to want to listen to that. You want to listen to someone who knows what they're talking about and someone who's quite entertaining as well. So you've got to be clear and confident with your speaking. So that's quite an easy one to do. Just try and think that your followers really do like you and they like whatever you do. My next tip is to be positive. Now that does link with the previous one. Uh, obviously, you don't want to be too fake, so not overly hype if you know what I mean. You want to be 
positive and happy but you don't want to be too much because your subscribers won't really like that and to be honest i don't really like watching youtubers who are so fake and so hyped up about this video or something that they just seem like a bit of a idiot really so you, you want to be positive but you don't want to be too overly hype be nice to your subscribers don't be like all doom and gloom but you don't want to be too fake as well so just try and find that balance with your commentary skills and you will get there eventually now my final tip from my point of view and for the whole video is actually to edit your voice you can't just leave the commentary as it is because you do make uh, some mistakes as well and also you have some breaks in there just to recap on what you're about to say so edit out the little gaps in your voices or in your commentary and that will make your videos a hell of a lot better trust me guys you don't want to leave the commentary as it is because one you make mistakes and two there's a lot of gaps that your subscribers will get a bit restless with just listening to nothing so that's not what they want to hear so that is actually going to wrap up my part of the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it i'll leave it off for protege to end off the video but yeah as i want to just say if you could check out my channel and give me a subscription that would be absolutely amazing uh, but i'll hopefully see you guys next time peace out and i would like to thank ethan for joining me in this collab because i thought it'd be fun to make the video with them and now as we near the end of the video i just want to say that when you're commentating things aren't always going to go the way you want them to meaning that you're probably going to make a lot of mistakes and probably will have to record multiple takes of your commentary to get the way you want it to sound like and trust me it takes me multiple tries to get my commentary to sound the way they are and to prove that i gathered a couple of commentary fails for you guys to enjoy because not everyone is perfect but here they are Hey, what's up my fellow prodigies? Prodigy Jay here, or you call me Jay, and today I'm showing you guys the best audio settings that you can do to your mic, making your voice sound more professional, and increase the quality of your videos by goddamn. You can't work on your YouTube video because you're busy. Don't I hate my life. Now, before you can download the Sony Vegas file, you're gonna wanna get RedRar. Oh my god. Oh shit, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm recording. Okay. Whoops. Hey, what's fellow prodigies? Prodigies. Okay. Hey, what's my fellow prodigies? Prodigy. Here I would call me Jay, and today I'm going to teach you guys on how to commentate. If you honestly think that your channel is good, you should have. Oh god. <laughs> Don't be expecting a shout out if you have like two videos and five subs. You have to have like good quality like channel. You have to have a mini content on your channel. <laughs> but I think that's gonna wrap it up. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But if you guys can, drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And go follow me on Twitter because I do like to tweet out daily. Also, if you guys can, comment down below how you like to commentate because I want to hear you guys have to say and because I do respond to most of my comments. And also, I want to let you guys know that I've been loving the amount of support that I've been getting in my recent video. And I just find it amazing because I normally upload once or twice a week, yet you guys keep showing that support. And I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate it. But anyways, thanks for watching and let's get 40 likes in today's video. Now subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one.